Factoring using synthetic division. Okay, so in this we're going to talk about how we can use synthetic division to factor a polynomial. But before I do that, I just want to go into some background about what makes a factor. Okay, so first off, is 6 a factor of 18? Okay, thinking about it, we know that 6 goes into 18, so yes it is. Mathematically what you're actually doing is 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. There is no remainder, so therefore it is a factor. Okay? If I asked you, is 5 a factor of 18? This you know is it isn't because it's not true because 18 divided by 5 is equal to not a whole number. Okay? It's equal to 3 plus a fraction. You let you have a remainder left over, so it doesn't, in fact, go in. Okay. So num numbers are easier to deal with. Okay. And for a certain extent, polynomials aren't that bad as well either. Okay. We can say, you know, factor x squared minus 5x plus 6. We know how to factor this. x minus 2, x minus 3. So in fact, what we have is x minus 2 is a factor and x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial right here. Okay. Where synthetic comes in, division comes in, is if we're dealing with something at a higher degree than 2, we may not know how to factor this out by hand. Okay. If this was an x cubed right here, I wouldn't know where to go. And so we would have to do synthetic division to factor it out. Okay. So the main thing we're looking for is in doing synthetic division, we know something is a factor if and only if we get a remainder of zero when we divide. Okay? Going back over here, we knew 6 was a factor because we had our, when we divided it, we got 3, no remainder. We know that 5 was a wasn't a factor because when we divided it, we had a remainder. Okay? Synthetic division is going to tell us the exact same things. We divide it out, we have a remainder, it's not a factor, we don't have a remainder, it is.